Hey everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Get ready to get excited. We're sharing a healthier, juicier, flavor-packed rice pilaf called plob. It's an instant pot recipe, so it's quick and easy, and the beef is melt in your mouth tender. Once you start the cooking, this recipe goes fast, so I love to prep all of my ingredients ahead. Peel and thickly julienne three large carrots. Now peel and dice one large onion, and it may seem like a lot of onion, but seriously, it disappears into the rice once it's cooked and adds so much flavor. Now you'll need one whole unpeeled head of garlic. Cut it in half crosswise. I know it's a strange way to cut garlic, but you'll see it's genius. I love that the Instant Pot has a saute setting, which means everything happens in one pot. To start cooking on high heat, push saute twice. Pour in four tablespoons of olive oil, and when the oil is hot, add one pound of beef cut into bite-sized pieces. Saute stirring occasionally for about five minutes or until lightly browned, then add four tablespoons of butter and your chopped onion. Stir and saute for about three minutes or until the onions are softened. Now stir in your julienne carrots, then add all of your seasoning. You'll need one tablespoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of paprika, and half a teaspoon of ground coriander. Stir that together and saute another five minutes or until the carrots are softened. Meanwhile, rinse and drain your rice, and once the carrots are softened, spread the rice evenly over the top. Do not stir the rice in. Push your garlic cloves cut side down into the rice. Now pour in three cups of very warm or hot water, and I try to pour over the garlic cloves so I don't disturb the rice. Use the back of a wooden spatula to poke holes all the way to the bottom of the pot. This helps to disperse flavor while it's cooking. Push the multi-grain setting or cook on manual high pressure for 30 minutes. And the Instant Pot does the rest while you use this time to do important life activities. Once the 30 minutes are up, let it rest and naturally depressurize for 10 minutes before switching to the venting position to release the steam. Make sure the steam is fully released and the float valve has floated down before opening the pot. Finally, although it really doesn't take very long in the Instant Pot, but we're gonna do the taste test. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> oh, and it smells so good in my kitchen. This is seriously the easiest way to make plov. The meat is just like fall apart, tender and delicious, and most people will probably not even guess that that's brown rice. It's just cooked to perfection. Delicious, so I'm gonna take out the garlic and you can keep it in there. The cloves get so soft, they're literally like melting in your mouth. So for folks who love garlic, leave them in there. Just squeeze out the garlic cloves and serve the plov with them in. And then the whole pot is infused with wonderful garlic flavor. Oh, and it smells good. I cannot wait, because I know how good this tastes. <laughs> Are you guys as excited as I am right now? <laughs> Yum. Take a look at this. Give it a quick stir. The rice is cooked perfectly. It's not mushy because it's brown rice. <laughs> Time for the taste test. Oh my goodness. It's so moist, loaded with flavor. Okay, and before I serve, I like to give it a sprinkle of fresh parsley because it makes it beautiful. Adds a little pop of flavor and color. All right, here we go. Get a little meat on every bite, because yum. <laughs> mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. This has so much flavor, absolutely delicious. That meat just like falls apart in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> in 30 minutes, can you guys even believe that? So good, and brown rice takes like an hour to cook normally, so this is super fast. This is a healthier way to make plov because brown rice is healthier than white rice, and it has a little bit of nuttiness to it. All the seasonings work together so beautifully. 
Mmm. <laughs> it's a party in your mouth. If you enjoyed this recipe, give me a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you later. Did I mention this is kid friendly? It is. For the win. <laughs> if you guys love easy, family friendly recipes, check these out right over here. And before you go, click below to subscribe and make sure to click on that little bell icon. That'll make sure you never miss one of our recipes or tutorials. We'll see you later.